Hi, welcome back to Settle in Spain. I'm Amanda. David uh, got on a flight yesterday back to work in Scotland, but you're going to see him in this video coming up. It's been two weeks since we last uploaded a video to YouTube. We had a little bit of time off, we had a big festival here and decided to make the most of it. But this week, as a bonus, you're going to get two videos. This video then is going to be uploaded later today. You'll be watching this tomorrow on Thursday, hopefully, and then I will be uploading another video over the weekend. So that will catch you up to where we are now. I hope you can hear me okay. The birds are really loud in the background here. The wind is blowing in the tree above me. I can't believe how much it has changed around here just in the last couple of weeks as spring has just really leapt forward. It's amazing. And we're in the middle of a heat wave. So we've gone from a month ago when there was snow to now parts of Spain are hitting 40 degrees. I think we're gonna get 30, so that's not too bad. Otis, our dog, hasn't joined me for this video today. He's asleep in the sunshine, enjoying this warm weather. But you can see a little bit of him coming up. And you can also see what this yard looked like just a few weeks ago and what a difference it's made with the amount of greenery we have here. In this video, there are walls coming down uh, along the front of the house. There were, if you remember, a room to the right, a room to the left, and uh, what would you call it? Entrance hall at the beginning there and those walls are coming down they're not supporting walls uh, they're both very different as we shall find out but we start to see what the dining room and kitchen is really going to be like along the front there which is quite exciting uh, we lay some pipe around the back of the warehouse to try and um, reduce the water that's coming in the back there when we've had these really really heavy rains and we clean um, or strim clear up some of the outside of the property also, as a little extra, those of you that have been following know we're renting here in a small hamlet and the house that is going to be our home is on the other side of the village of Aurea. So every time we go across, we're making that drive from here through the village and back again. And I wanted to show you a little bit of the village itself and what it's like. So there's a drive through of the village of Aurea for you as well on this one. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to uh, click those thumbs ups, comment and subscribe to try and help the channel move forward. Thanks guys and I'll see you on the next one.
last time I took a wall down, I was 10 years old and my father did most of the work. Um, we did some research and I found a th something on YouTube that said that you had to get the plaster off first. This wall is one thin brick thick. They're br red bricks with holes in them. We thought it was going to be a lot easier than it was and the sections of it proved to be a lot heavier than we thought they were going to be as well. There's a piece of video missing here. As you can see, the centre section above where the door has been has been removed. David did that by drilling first and then using a big hammer. It turned out that taking off just the plaster was not going to be the way forward at all. Uh, what we needed to do was get the thing broken and use a hammer and sometimes a bigger hammer to do it than we thought. <laughs> combination of taking the walls down and getting all of the debris into the skip did prove to take a lot longer than either of us had ever thought possible. And it was really hard work. The noise you can hear in the background is me sanding the back door to make sure we can open and close it. Time for a bit of a tear Confessions, I'm scared of spiders and this ceiling was covered in lots of little dead spiders. Do you think they're going to come back again? <laughs> Don't you dare. You know they frightened me. Did you see that one floating down? No, that was, that was, that was deed. <laughs> it was floating down from what to be. <laughs> All of that yeso has got to come off those beams and that's one of my jobs going forward and I wasn't going to get up there until I'd got rid of the dead spiders. Anyone else afraid of them? Okay. Next up, it was time to do a job which I had wanted to tackle quite some time ago, but the rain had just not let up long enough for me to do it on my own. With Dave there, it was certainly a lot easier. This pipe then uh, runs from the back of our property underneath the road and takes the water from the roof and the yard and brings it at the back of the warehouse. Unfortunately, it just ended at a point that was of no use and the water was collecting on the concrete at the back and seeping into the back of the warehouse. This solved some of the problem, though not 100% of it, as the rain coming out of the sky will still collect on that concrete, and that's something we're going to need to look at at a later date. I have had a look back, actually, interestingly, on some of the Google Earth pictures, and there used to be a building at the back of here a long time ago. Trusty snap on ratchet. <laughs> 25 years old, still going strong. Predictably, of course, that wall wasn't straight, so it wasn't quite as simple as I had first thought. But luckily, I had bought just the right amount of pipe, though it could have done with one more support, which we're going to put in at a later date. Next, having learnt from taking the other wall down, we decided this time to start by taking that section in the middle. And what you missed, because we didn't have a camera handy at the time, was when we took the section out of the middle of the other wall, it all came down in one go and were so heavy, it was frighteningly dangerous. So this time we tried to do it a bit at a time instead. 
This wall turned out to be made very differently from the first wall. Uh, the first wall above the door frame there was no lintel of any description but here we found quite a long wooden lintel. Uh, the wall itself appears to be an older type of construction, there were no red bricks here at all and the plaster work was extremely thick and heavy and quite tough to get through as well. What we needed to do then was expose that lintel and then cut the lintel itself out and then take the wall above it away. The lintel is not weight bearing, the wall is not weight bearing, so we weren't concerned about that. Um, but we did wonder if, if some of the brick above was going to come down as we took the lintel out. So as you can see there's no bricks up there, there's just bits of old stone which have probably come from the land around us and an old mortar which is just turning to dust. Along the top edge above the door and actually all around the room there's a much thicker layer of plaster I'm guessing related in some way to the false ceiling that was in there or the architrave that was around it it's a good couple of centimeters thick and you just can't break it with a hammer uh, the best way to get it off was to to get the drill in there and get it moving that way it was really thick all up against the ceiling there and so it was going to take quite a bit of removing. Learning as we go along, one thing we've now added to our list to get is a decent heavyweight jackhammer. We are going to have to dig up bits of concrete on the floor to put in plumbing and stuff like that, so we're going to need a much more hefty, weightier machine to do that going forward. As many of you are very aware, we have a zero building experience between us. This really is a, a learn as you go along thing. And by doing this destruction ourselves, we're also learning about the construction process. So we can see how these walls were originally built and put together using the stones from the local area and the gypsum or lime mortar with the larger stones at the bottom of the wall and the smaller ones at the top. 
it is really interesting from that point of view. In total, in the downstairs of the property, there are four walls we've got to take down. Uh, the one you've already seen come down, this one, the wall between what was a bedroom and a corridor, which is going to become our living room, and a further wall where there was the original kitchen of the property and the dining room, that wall is crumbling and so has to be replaced. That's going to become our downstairs bathroom and utility room. Time was already starting to run out for Dave. Um, his time here always goes far too quickly. And so to, by taking out this centre section, it would mean that I could move forward with removing those other two halves of that wall while he was away. This then is the wall that goes between what was a bedroom and a corridor leading to the back of the house on the right hand side. This is going to become our living room. We wanted to find out how thick this wall is because it just wasn't clear from plans and measurements that we'd taken. So Dave removed a small section of this wall um, using the drill to make the holes first and then using a hammer to knock those pieces out to check the depth of it. While I was working behind in what had been the kitchen of the property, removing the frame and the door work of the cupboard that was built in there. Unfortunately, uh, all of my videos are taken on a mobile and it didn't have any charge and I'd forgotten my charging cable on this day. Yeah, that's not very thick at all. The very last job before Dave was going to be heading back was actually to clear up outside all the way along the front, the side of the house, the side of the warehouse, the front of the warehouse was so overgrown. All those weeks and weeks of rain had just made everything grow like crazy. So David got out the weed whacker or um, strimmer or steel or whatever you call it while I had the job of clearing up after him. Along the side of the warehouse there, there was also piled lots and lots of pieces of marble. We have no idea why. Uh, so all of those have now been removed and we'll try and make a use of those at some point in the future. But it certainly looks a lot better than it did. Along the front of the warehouse, so as we strimmed, we also discovered lots of these little beetles. Does anyone know what they are? That's it then for this video. Thanks once again for joining us. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, for commenting. The interaction really makes a difference with the YouTube algorithms and how they get things out there and how we build our subscribers. We really appreciate all of you, so thank you very much. And we will be back at the weekend. Keep an eye out and don't forget to hit that subscription bell so that you get notified when our next video is there. Here you can see there's the grass and now it's all gone.